Welcome to the 4 and 6 software. I'm here to demonstrate the software program. Let's check how the program works. How to back up Yahoo Mails in some clicks. Simple and user friendly UI is a major feature of this standalone tool. Click on Open Tab and choose Drop Down option. Select Add Account option. Now, add your email account details like email address and password to take backup. Then, click on the Add button. As you can see, the software is analyzing the entered credentials. The software is analyzing files and folders from your account. Select the required folder in software list all the emails in the panel. You can enable the compact view button to view the important folder for the backup process. Now, click the email to view the message. This way you can preview the email message with all the elements such as email properties, signature, sender information, and more. If you want to see the email attachment, tap on it and choose whether you want to open it or save it. Multiple view mode is an additional feature of this tool. Now, go to the Export tab. It gives you multiple options to back up email accounts such as EML, Box, PST, and many more exporting options. The Extract tab helps you take out email addresses, attachments, phone numbers, and more from the emails. Select the Export option and choose PDF to the backup email account. Then, mark the required folder and unmark the rest folder as per your requirement for the email account backup process. Go to Browse option and pick a location to save the email account backup. Now, let's understand the advanced functions of the tool one by one. The first is open folders after export is done. If you enable this feature, then the target folder where the output file is saved automatically opens after the conversion. The next is skip grayed out look folder. Enable this option to leave grayed out folders from your email account. Other is to create empty folders. Please disable this option so that you can avoid creating empty folders. Next one is to delete old folders. If you want to delete previously converted data from the destination folder, then please enable this option. Next is an include email header. We recommend you disable this option to remove your output data titles to reduce output file size. Other is show page numbers. If you enable this option, it allows you to insert page numbers and PDF documents. The last one is saved attachments in a folder. Enabling this option, you can save attachments in a separate folder. You can also check the file naming option to store email data after backup as, subject plus date, date month year, and many others. You can choose custom naming option for exported files here we enter my mails and click on save button after that a pop up box here we can enter display name and click on ok button. Finally, go to the save button and see the live process of email account backup. You can also see the email account saved in the PDF files. Once the task gets completed, you get a successful message. Click on the OK button.
go to open folder. Now, you will see the resultant folder. Click on it and get all email backup in PDF files. You can see message header of the emails. You can see page number of the document at the top of the page. If email contain any kind of attachment, click on paperclip icon and you can see the embedded attachment. There is no attachment in this email. So the section is blank.